Hey, this is Nappuccino. Welcome back to set 10 of my Half-Life 2 Let's Play. Um, sorry this is taking so long to get out, but the game's been giving a lot of, a lot of problems lately. Uh, crashing, not recording my voice, things like that. Um, anyway, let's hope the set goes better. Uh, and uh, one thing before I forget, apparently, uh, last set, I forgot about Greg the Antline. Um, well, what can I say? Greg just has one of those faces that looks like everyone else's face. Um, so he's easy to forget. Uh, also, he died. Um, so he's really not that important, obviously. Anyway, let's see how this goes. Capture of Eli Vance is an event of major... <laughs> Do my little suicide bugs. Dance! Dance! Oh crap! Ah. Harboring Dr. Freeman. They never harbored me in the first place. Are you being silly? Mr. Breen, because I do believe you are. I mean, really, think about what they've done for me. They're, they're always sort of like, oh, hey, it's Gordon. It's so great to see you, Gordon. What, what's going on, Gordon? Do you, have, do you have any major plans? And I'll be like, you know, I don't... Oh, you know, stupid fucking... Oh, stop getting my way. But, uh, yeah. Um, so then they'll just be like, so Gordon, there's this giant thing that's coming our way. Do you want to kill it for us? With our rockets that we have? And I'm be like, well, I don't, I don't, I don't really want to do that. And they're like, well, you can't leave until you do. And I'm like, well, um, all right, I guess I'll, I guess I'm doing it then. And they're like, that's right, you are. I, I mean, really, and what do I even, what do I even get? From it, you know, I don't even get a pen on the back. I just sort of like, here you go, Gordon. Here's a shitty car, and I'm just like, oh, gee, thanks, guys. How, I'm ever so thoughtful of you. That's so very nice. I, I was thinking just the other day that I really wanted a very shitty car, and whoa, imagine that. You guys gave me a shitty car. That's so very nice. Dance! Dance! Oh, there's a guy there. Hello, guy. <laughs> Were you taking cover from the grenade? Well, you should have been paying attention to the shotgun that got shoved in your face. I'm sorry if Gordon Freeman seems a little bit disgruntled now. He's just very frustrated that he's had to do this about 12 different times. And, and believe it or not, it's not my ability to play the game that's caused me to do this 12 different times. It's it's really just every time I do this, it crashes, or um, my voice doesn't record, or I forget that I'm colorblind and I walk into those giant things, um, exploding things, with the bombs. And, and that's never pleasant to run into those things. Let's see here. That's good. Oh, I need, I need the pods. Hey guys, what are you doing? Yeah, what's up? Can you can you get a hey ho? Sure, you could have. The manner of his capture may prove to have 
unexpected benefits. Really? Like what? It cannot have gone unnoticed by all resistance does it, that does it have unforeseen consequences? I'm sorry, that, that, was, that was a cheap pun. This might cause other resistance members to think oh. twice before harboring Dr. Freeman. It might cause them to question his allegiance. Some yes, dance. Chemical warfare. Chemical warfare. Yes. Anyone else to kill? I have a bloodlust right now. And now I must put the question to you. So I'm not going to include anything. man has slipped through your forces fingers time and time again. How is it possible? This is not some agent provocateur or highly trained assassin we are discussing. No, not really. Gordon Freeman is a theoretical physicist who had hardly earned the distinction of his what? PhD hey. at the time of the Black hey. incident. That is uncalled for. I, have I learned a lot of things while getting my PhD. I mean, they taught me how to push buttons and flip switches. The man you have they taught me how to do both. To I, can, I can do a lot of things. I'm, I'm, I'm a man of many talents. How dare you talk about me like that? You jerk. That is not nice. <laughs> Let's see. A nice little monitor right here. What's going on? Oh, we have Combine doing the laundry. Very nice. We have Combine cooking some food. Also nice. And then we have Combine who is overlooking a dining hall. Very nice. It, the best part about that is, you know, it sort of it lets me know that the combine actually leads somewhat productive lives. You know, when they're not chasing the free man, they have they have stuff to do. I mean, look, could you imagine trying to get those stains out? Of course, they have to do the laundry, and it's really nice that they include that in the game. You know, trying to get monstrous amounts of blood out of out of their suits. Oh. <laughs> I hope you guys aren't really surprised that we took you out, considering you're hiding behind mattresses and beds. That's not a very, you know, difficult way. Alright, not a... What's the word I'm thinking of? Damn it. I'm gonna have to pull out my geometry. Geometrical abilities. Yeah. Oh, yes. That's what I learned when I was getting my PhD. Geometry. Not from studying, but from being in a pool hall all my years. And I really love that there's that guy up there behind that pillar. He's just like, hey, check that out. Gordon Freeman will ever see me up here. I got this covered. Well, I hate to break it to you. Um, but I can see you. Alright, you guys leave the charge. What? How did you die to a mattress? That is something a stupid person does. Are you a stupid person? Obviously not, because you're a, you're an ant lion, so So I mean I guess the, the point I was trying to make is that they might be stupid, but they're not people. Oh. Alright, I'm sorry about that. I had some program started up while I was playing and made me go back to desktop. So I hope it wasn't too big of an inconvenience. 